Hey everybody, it's Meredith, and uh, I missed my normal kind of weekend type, weekend in review type video, so I thought I would do this for you uh, today. I have quite a bit of things to show you. Uh, I am traveling at the end of this week for the holiday weekend, so I won't be on um, over the weekend again, but uh, never fear, I'll be back eventually. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I've been doing a lot of working and getting ready for spring and eating better and thinking about what I'm going to do with my hair because these extensions are coming out at the end of May. So, and I'm ready for it. I know it's going to be a shock. I know my hair isn't as full or as, or as nice or as long as the extensions, but I'm going to try it. Anyway, let's get to some hauling. I was at Walmart recently and um, went and saw that they had restocked, so I picked up the Hard Candy Fast and Fabulous Makeup Setting Spray, which they did not have before. Um, so I'm anxious to see how this measures up to the L'Oreal Infallible, which is my new favorite um, because the Urban Decay sprays don't work on me, the, the setting sprays. The L'Oreal does work. I'm hoping this works as well because this is $5.98 Canadian, which that makes me very happy. The L'Oreal one's, I think, $16.99, maybe $16.99. Still a better price than the Urban Decay. And then I also picked up their uh, Ginormous Lash Volumizing Mascara in Black is Carbon Black. And it says it has a new brush. Um, so this is one of those stiff bristle brushes, rubber brushes. So looking forward to using that. Um, I have two mascaras open at the moment. The Better Than Sex mascara, which I don't like just because it just tends to come off my lashes. Um, and the Heroin Make uh, Length mascara, mascara from Japan, which I do like very, very much. And I am wearing it today. You probably can't see much on those lashes, but here we go. Um, yeah, I really do like that quite a bit. Canada has um, a version of Marshalls and TJ Maxx called Winners. So I was in there and uh, ended up picking up um, some stuff for my niece, but then wandered over to Beauty, of course, and found uh, some Lorac Morpho Slim Concentrate. Uh, this is the anti-cellulite cream, and it is concentrated. Um, it's a very strange color, like almost like a rust color, and it's it's more lotiony. But um, I do like it quite a bit. This brand, they also make skincare. I remember you used to be able to buy it in some Rexalls. Maybe you still can. Their skincare is geared toward the how do I say this more mature woman. So um, a little bit uh, too heavy for me on moisture and cream. Um, so, but something I probably would use further on down the line. So as I mature, if I mature, I'll say. So um, then I ordered, I placed an order from Holika Holika, which is a Korean brand. Um, they do have a store, two stores, I think, in Toronto. Um, but I ordered from them because it was free shipping. And then when I looked at the shipping address, it's like around the corner from where I work. So I'm thinking next time, if they don't think I'm too much of a creep, I will just go over there and pick it up myself. <laughs> um, I've used most of these products uh, in one form or another, and I really do like them. Some of them are gifts, so I won't open those, but um, they're fantastic. The I got makeup the makeup starter. So this is a disposable um, sheet, and one side has uh, an exfoliant side, and the other side is just smooth. So this basically... Um, it's like a quick light peel for your face before you put your makeup on. So this uh, textured side gets off the dead skin and then the smooth side is, is kind of like your, your serum kind of primer type thing. And I got three of them um, because I'm traveling. I thought maybe I could take at least two. I don't, I don't necessarily need to take all of them. Then because I am obsessed with the way Koreans think English words look cool, whether they make sense together or not, I got the Golden Monkey Glamour Lip 3-Step Kit. So, 
it's exactly what it is. It's three steps. There's a golden monkey. Step one is the lip peeling patch. Step two is the volume lip pack. As you can see, monkey's lips are plumped up. And step three is the honey lip essence. So really looking forward to using that. Um, I'm a big fan of these, these types of products just because they're so strange, but a lot of times they really work well. Um, I'm probably alone in that, but you know, okay. They have a new line and some of their stuff was sold out and it's for people with oily skin, that's me. Um, and it's called Sweet Cotton. So I wanted to get, they had um, some kind of mattifying, oh, I don't know what it was and I couldn't get it, it was sold out. Um, so I ended up getting the pore cover base this is what it looks like. I would show you the back and it's all in Korean. So there you are. Um, yeah, but um, I'm interested in trying more things from that line. I think they had like a loose powder that just soaks up oil, like translucent, but not really, if that makes any sense. Um, then I got, this is something I'm a huge fan of, the Aqua Petite Jelly Starter. So this is kind of your your makeup base uh, has a jelly texture that helps spread evenly and creates fully hydrated and shiny skin. It's perfect for covering up facial blem blemishes. So looks like this. I always eye this when I'm on the store in the store. I always eye it when I'm at um, when I'm on Amazon and uh, have never bought it and finally picked it up and very glad that I did. I think it's kind of like the makeup starter uh, sheet, but without the exfoliation. It's just, it would be one side of the sheet. So the other things I got, well, two of them are lip products and they are for a good friend of mine um, who is searching for a particular lip combination um, that she saw on, a, on an actress. So I ended up picking up two, uh, two lip products for her. One is the Pro Beauty Lip Attention, and it's in Bad Girl. That is the color. And this person, if she watches my videos, she will know that these products are for her. And then I got her the Pro Beauty Kissable Lipstick, and you know, it's just red 801 and Korean words. So there we are. <laughs> and it looks like this, same type of color. And then in, in the spirit of things, I ended up also picking up uh, the Kissable lipstick in red 804, which is a little bit different, more my lips, but better. So this one's probably going to stay with me. And then because Korean companies are so, so generous. They gave me some samples, uh, some facial cotton, which I always like taking with me. Um, not as good as the Shiseido, but not too bad. Uh, the Good Sarah, Sarah Ultra Emulsion and Toner. Um, always interested as to what the emulsion actually is. Um, I believe you use it after the toner. Okay, you know. Maybe if I'm feeling adventurous, not right now. Then um, I got the Face to Change Water Cushion Pump BB in clear beige. It's a foundation. And this is one of those cushion, comes in the cushion compact, but they don't give you that in the sample. Then uh, the Good Syrah Ultra Sleeping Mask that aids in night skin moisturization while you sleep. It's like that. Then the Gonyak Soft Jelly in Cleansing Foam. It's a cleansing foam which removes makeup and waste with its abundant bubbles and keeps skin moist even after you wash up. Again, I don't know. So, so that was a pretty good order. Um, and then finally, I went to Sephora. And because I'm in marketing, um, I'm always on the hunt for clever, clever marketing promotions. And I had seen one in the bookstore and I took some of their uh, collateral to, to do something similar and show, um, kind of mock up something for my industry, uh, which I thought was really cool. They had like little peel back coupons. But what Sephora is doing now, and I haven't seen this and maybe it's not new, is they're doing something called Beauty on the Fly. And this is the bag, Beauty on the Fly. It's a lipstick that looks like an airplane. How clever, Sephora. 
And what they do is those little bins of temptation that are up at the front there at the register, when you weave your way through and you're waiting in that line and then you end up putting about 16 more things in, in your basket, you know, those bins. So they're calling them the on the fly bins and they are travel sizes, so this makes perfect sense. So basically this is your airline approved bag and you can pick up airline approved um, items size-wise, fluid-based mostly, because they have restrictions on liquids, and uh, put them in this bag and then travel um, conveniently from place to place. So, um, and if you buy three items, I think it was three items, no, two items, two items, three items, then you got the bag for free. So of course I was like, this is brilliant. I need to do this. I have travel sizes somewhere, great. So I ended up picking up a Sephora um, lip sphere, and this is one of the moisturizing ones. It's the treatment, um, which I can't read here. I can't, I can't, I can't read it. Then I picked up one of their mini glosses, Glossy Mirror Mini, Glossy Gloss to Go, and this is in confectionery, and I like these. They have that sheer kind of jelly type finish. Then I picked up, this is going to be really interesting, a mini travel uh, flat iron. It's called the Mighty Mini Titanium Styler, and it comes in this little case. And I thought that's perfect, too, because I don't wash my hair every day. And when I do, I don't want to be lugging around a huge iron um, because that is annoying. Also picked up as a gift um, this Bite Beauty Lip Duo in Tangerine and Lingonberry. So we've got an orange, more coral, and then pink fuchsia. I like uh, Bite Beauty Lip products. They uh, feel really nice on your lips. They're all natural for the most part, and yay. And uh, finally, the best part, I think, was uh, having enough points for this 500-point uh, perk, which is the Marc Jacobs um, Blacker and More. It comes with the highliner gel eye crayon, the mini crayon, the mini magic marker precision pen eyeliner, the mini Omega Lash Volumizing Mascara, and the mini Lamarck Lip Cream. So this is my first um, exposure to Marc Jacobs makeup. Um, I always kind of walk by it and never end up picking up anything. And I think the reason for that is that I feel that it's pretty darn expensive, but um, it's pretty exciting to me. So. We'll give this a go and see how it works. Plus, like I said, I'm traveling, so that's a very good reason for me to have um, something like this. So that is all. Um, I feel like I've talked too much. Usually my videos aren't over 10 minutes. So sorry about that, and sorry this is late, but thanks so much for watching, and uh, I'll talk to you again later. Bye.